Free switch. Free switch, free switch. How many people have not played with free switch directly? Either mucked around in the XML? Okay, just a handful. Okay. Um, no questions are too dumb. So ask questions. Happy to answer them. All right, so this is where free switch is living for us in k the kazoo ecosystem. Um, and like I said before, we've moved uh, as much as possible SIP-only dialogues to be handled directly by Camilio and Kazoo um, and to only engage free switch when media is needed. Um, so instances of media when you need to do codec transcoding because the endpoints don't speak the same codec. Uh, if you want to do recording, either call recording, voicemail, that sort of stuff. Um, if you want to inject media into the call, like playing prompts or doing TTS, things like that. So when it's free switch, um, the really brief version is a couple of the Asterisk developers wanted to make some fundamental changes to Asterisk. Uh, the other developers didn't think that was a good idea, so they broke off and started free switch. Uh, free switch is kind of building off of the uh, mistakes and lessons learned in Asterisk. Uh, to build a extremely scalable soft switch. Um, it supports a wide range of endpoints, not just SIP, um, XMPP, Bluetooth, uh, TDM, PRI cards, uh, Skype, um, all sorts of different endpoints that you could connect up to it. Um, FreeSwitch is an amazing piece of software for running a single server. Um, but it really isn't made for clustering, uh, which is one of the reasons for Kazoo's existence. Um, with increased flexibility and configuration, you have inc increased complexity. Um, so Kazoo hopes to you know, simplify the configuration of FreeSwitch. Um, you shouldn't have to muck around with the FreeSwitch configs unless you want to do an Amazon install or have specific networking or maybe your clients come in over VPN connections, things like that that are sort of outside of the uh, normal day-to-day -day operation for most providers. Um, we do offer a free switch specific training course. There is no mention of Kazoo except maybe at the very end, um, but it is free switch focused. Uh, it's usually taught by Darren, who's one of the co-authors of the free switch book uh, and also our CEO. So if you're interested in free switch just in general, if you don't want to go kazoo, uh, that's fine. Uh, I would highly recommend free switch in that case. Um, so free switch actually is architected uh, kind of similar to how we've done kazoo in that you have the core uh, and it's kept small. And then you have a public API system for modules to hook into. Um, free switch has a very nice event bus. Um, it is an event-driven soft switch, uh, which made it tying into Kazoo and AMQP natural and very easy and straightforward. Um, there's not a lot of impedance mismatches going between the different systems because it's all events flowing around. Um, so sort of the first tier of circles are kind of the broad categories, and then around the outside are going to be your specific implementations. Um, so for instance, the event consumers, we specifically mentioned the event socket, but this is also where mod kazoo or mod erlang event are going to sit and consume events from the free switch core. Um, the dial plans, the XML dial plan, we still use dial plan at the very beginning of the call, but it's mostly just to uh, park the call and maybe to set ring ready and a couple channel variables, things like that. But we don't actually use dial plan like you would traditionally create for free switch. Um, we obviously load tons of codecs, uh, endpoints, primarily SIP. Uh, we do have a couple customers that we've uh, done some TDM work for. Uh, that should, if it's not in core kazoo already, it should be coming soon. Uh, so if you have existing TDM PRI, uh, that should work. Um, mod flight by default for TTS. We also have an integration with iSpeech 
uh, if you want a little higher quality TTS. I'm trying to think of what else in this diagram.